Hello. In previous videos, we saw how to set up a local development environment using Bitnami VAM stack. If you followed along the previous videos and have an active local development environment using Bitnami, you can skip this video. But if you want to follow the steps in this video and install Apache MySQL PHP and PHP MyAdmin as separate packages on Windows 7 operating system. Make sure you uninstall Bitnami VAM stack first. Let's get started. First, open your web browser. We will download all the packages first and install them one by one. So first, go to php.net. Here you can see php 7.0.0 rc7 is released. This is very new version and it may have some bugs and it is still under development so it may have bugs so it's always better idea to download the latest current stable version in this case we are going to download php 5.6.15 which is a stable version here you will find download link for windows Here, there are several versions of PHP to download like VC11x86 non-threadsafe and VCX86 threadsafe 64 non-threadsafe 64 threadsafe. So which one will you install? Here at left hand column, there are some brief notes, you can read them before downloading the appropriate version. The non-thread safe version are usually for installing PHP on IIS. In our case we will be installing Apache. With Apache you have to use thread safe version of PHP. PHP core files are mainly built in C C++ language. So it needs Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio to work those files on our computer properly. Depending upon your downloader for VC9, VC11 and VC14 there are links to download the redistributable from here. One more thing, there are two versions, one is for x64 bit and one is for 32 bit. So which one will you install? To check which operating system you are using, go to start control panel, system and security, system. Here you will see, I am using 64-bit operating system of Windows 7 Enterprise. In your case, it may be 32-bit. If you are using 32-bit operating system of Windows 7, then you will have to download x86 zip files for thread safe. And if you are using 64-bit operating system, then you will have to download VC11 x64 thread safe zip file. Since I am using 64 bit operating system, I will go ahead and download zip file. Click OK to save. Now, here you can see there is a link Apache Lounge.com. Here they provide under downloads 
दे प्रोवाइड लेटेस्ट अपाची टू पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट वन सेवन एज अ झिप पैकेज अगेन देर आर टू वर्जन थर्टी टू बीट एंड सिक्सटी फोर बीट इफ यू आर यूजिंग थर्टी टू बीट यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस वन सिंस आई एम यूजिंग सिक्सटी फोर बीट आई विल गो अहेड एंड डाउनलोड सिक्सटी फोर बीट वर्जन Now go to mysql.com to download MySQL database server installer. Under down downloads, at the bottom you will see MySQL Community Edition link. Click to open. Here MySQL Community Server (GPL). Click to open. On MySQL Community Server page. You will find MySQL installer 5.7 for Windows. I'll click the download button, and there are two installer for 32 bit. Though I am using 64 bit operating system, I successfully tested the installer. It works on my 64 bit operating system. This is a downloader. and this is a direct installer so i will go ahead and download the installer it is a sign up uh, no need to sign up just start my download and it will start save to download the file i for to save some time i already have downloaded so i am not going to download it now in google type php my admin and open the very first link php my admin dot net here download latest 4.5.1 it is the latest version of php my admin we downloaded i moved all files to my downloads folder on desktop now let's install one by one first i will install visual c++ redistributable for visual studio 2012 click run as i already have installed it gave me the option to repair and uninstall if you are installing it for the first time you will see an option to install i will click repair and the setup will in my case it will reinstall in your case it will install my c++ 2012 redistributable on your computer the setup is successfully installed close it now let's install mysql database server so double click mysql installer community 5.7.9.1 This is a bigger file so it will take a couple of minute or less to extract the necessary file and launch the downloader click yes you can see mysql installer 
started the setup. Accept the license agreement and click next. I will be installing MySQL under C drive, directly under C drive. Therefore, I will select custom to change the folder location in next screen. Click next. Here, select the available product. I am going to select MySQL Server x864. If you are using 32 bit operating system, you need to select 32 and click this arrow. Now, product to be installed. Click next. We don't need documentation and other application at the moment. Click next. Here, you can change the install directory. I will change it to only MySQL, C MySQL. You can you also can change to C MySQL or you can select the default one. Click next. Click execute. MySQL Server 5.7.9 successfully installed the database servers on our computer. Click next. Now it is ready to configure. Click next. Config type is development machine. It will automatically select the port number. Default is 3306. You can change the port number from here. Click next. Set the password for re default user root here. Click next. Check this option to start the MySQL server at startup. When your when you will your computer starts it will automatically start MySQL database server. Click next and execute. The installer will save all the necessary configuration setting and the password we selected for the root user. You see server configuration setting were successfully completed. Click finish, next and finish. Now when you start you will see a MySQL 5.7 command line client. Click to open. It will ask you the password. Type the password you set while the installation. If you see MySQL prompt, then you have successfully installed MySQL database server on your computer. Type exit and enter. Now we will install Apache web server. I will copy Apache zip file to my C drive. Extract it. Delete the zip file. Inside the extracted folder, you can see Apache 25 fo 24 folder. Inside this, there are Apache files. I will go ahead and cut it and paste it on main C, C drive. I will delete this folder. Now click start and type cmd. Right click and run as administrator. 
to open command prompt now go to c, type c cd backslash cd type ap and hit tab it will automatically change to apache 24 click enter cd bin enter so we are now on apache 25 bin folder now type httpd dot exe space dash k space install hit enter if you see firewall has blocked some feature make sure you give allow access and you will see here apache 22.4 service successfully installed exit it now before testing if apache successfully installed go to apache 24 folder in c drive open bin folder and here you can see apache monitor.exe file application double click it run it will launch it quick launch menu right click and open apache monitor at the moment you can see it's red in color the icon is red select and start click s relaunch the apache monitor now you can see the icon turn to green now apache web server is running open the web browser and type http colon slash slash local host enter if you see this message it works then apache web server is running on your computer if you want to see where the files are located go again to apache 24 directory and htt docs folder edit this index.php in notepad this is the file we are running in the web browser one more thing if you want to start apache web server automatically when your computer start open go to apache 24 bin directory and here start all programs and you will see startup of folder is here right click click open and copy this apache monitor application and paste in the startup folder now whenever your computer start it will automatically start the apache web server you don't need to start the server manually every time in next video we will see how to install php and php my admin on on our computer if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section catch you in the next video thanks for watching watching the video